Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergaga.com and in this video we will look at how to sum the negative numbers only in a range and we're going to use this example on screen at the moment where we have some incoming and some outgoings so we've got a few negative uh, numbers in there and we have the majority of positive numbers which is good news isn't it more incoming and outgoings I wish mine looked like this Anyhow, <laughs> let's get to it. Cell D3, we want to total only the expenses, therefore only the negative values. And we're going to do this using the SUMIF function. So, let me zoom in a tiny bit on this spreadsheet so that the formula is more visible to us. And in cell D3 equals SUMIF, open in bracket we're going to sum values that meet a specific condition, in this example, the negative ones. So the range of cells to test is going to be the range B2 to B12. So have a look at that range of cells, comma, and then we're prompted for the criteria, and a criteria will be less than zero, therefore they're negative. Now we need to enter that as a string, so we need to put it in as text. So we need these inverted commas, or these double quotes, around the criteria, less than zero, closing double quote, and we don't need this final argument, this sum range. It's optional, and we don't need it right now because the range we're summing is the same as the range we're testing. So it makes it redundant, this final question. We can just close this off and press enter and we've got our total which in this example is 465 we've got this value here and we've got these three grouped together making 465 in total so by using the sum if function we can sum negative numbers only in a range i hope you found this video useful if you did please like it below this video and please check out some of the other tips and tricks we have at computergaga.com